My name is Bill Webster. I'm an engineering geologist for California State Department of Transportation. I am the, uh, I guess, the designer or uh, geotech of record on this particular project. Out here, we've had a number of surficial slope failures due to decomposition of the uh, rock material and also planar failures within the rock material, primarily originating from the crest of the existing highway cut. Um, it tends to be that in the wintertime when we get large amounts of rain or large volumes of rain, it'll wash the material down off the slope and the velocity of it is enough to get it out into the number two lane of Interstate 80. So it, we are attempting to do what's called a pinned or an anchored cable net drapery system. We are coming in placing in dowels or pins every, on a uh, 10 by 10 grid on the slope and then we will drape the slope with cable net and double twist wire mesh and uh, put it over the pins and we will utilize nuts and plates to adhere the mesh to the slope itself. And the hopes are is that as the material decomposes, it will form and fill quasi-quilt type pockets on the slope face, but the material will be stabilized on the slope face. And as decomposition continues, we may get some revegetation within the uh, wire or within the material underneath the wire mesh. Hi, I'm Kenny McHugh from Holdridge and Cole. I'm on I-80 uh, land uh, slide hill slide job, and um, just here to, to show you what we're doing. We put in a bunch of 12, in, 12 foot dowels in the ground. They're drilling them in and they're grouting them, and we're doing pull tests on the pins. Um, and the way we do it is John and I, we have to rappel down the side with our sled, straddle the pins, and uh, make a pull with the jack. What do we have on the sled? We've got our cribbing, because we need a, basically a six foot span. We have to be clear of the anchor, the rock anchor, three foot either direction, per Caltrans's requirements on this job. We've got uh, canvas bag there it's full basically wood wedges that we use to shim because of all the rock the irregularity in the rock we have to be square and perpendicular to the anchor and then we got our jack does 10,000 psi and on the way is our 30 ton jack because we have to pull an ultimate of 44,000 pounds